today's story, starring me and not starring Nanette Memoir. <laughs> it is Friday afternoon, and I am very busy not listening to Nanoying Memoir on account of my ears can only listen for one thing, the bell. As soon as the bell rings, it is the weekend. And as soon as it's the weekend, I get to go on my first fishing trip ever with my dad. And that's how you make duck a l'orange. Thank you, Alfredo. That was all. Thank you, Nanette. Your exquisitely prepared gourmet meal will be a lovely compliment to Angela's hard-boiled egg. I have more important things on my mind than Mrs. Brinks's foods around the world assignment, which we all think is just her way of getting us to make her free dinner. Tomorrow morning, I will be catching my own food, my own way, without some foo-foo chef to do it for me. Sorry, Angela Anaconda, but the fishy fish candy people aren't looking for a spokesperson right now. <laughs> yeah. oh. Hey, those are for tomorrow. We're growing boys. We're growing piggier by the day. Oh, and uh, did I mention that my brothers, Mark and Derek, are coming along tomorrow? Probably not. On account of that is something I would rather forget. Hey, you inhaled my sandwich. You rule. <laughs> no way, man. You rule. <laughs> you both rule. The planet of the dorks. Mom, they're eating them all up. Do something. <laughs> Dad, are you sure Mark and Derek weren't left on the doorstep by aliens? Hi, Angelfish. Take a look at this. Your old dad has just about finished the most revolutionary device since the rugged fisherman. A whirlo reel! It reels in even the feistiest fish with one tap of a button. Wow. Can I be the first to use it? Don't touch it. It's hot. <laughs> I have a few kinks to work out, so don't wait up. You need to get some sleep for the big day tomorrow. Sleep? I'm too excited about all the fish I'm going to catch to even think about sleeping. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> there's been a slight change of plans. It seems that my whirl reel had a little more torque than I thought. Looks like she's ready to go. I'll just give her a test spin and, uh... <laughs> but, hey, just because I can't go fishing doesn't mean you can't. Your big brothers will teach you everything you need to know. Mark and Derek? <laughs> So even though I am not thrilled about going fishing with the dually dumbbell, fishing is fishing, and they're actually almost being nice and even let me sit in the back seat. I hope Mark and Derek don't get too jealous when I break all the world's fishing records for fishing. Go! Supplies! Get them! Uh, what are you guys gonna do? Arm, Arm wrestle. wrestle! Don't forget the worms! Yeah, lots of worms! Oh, and, and ice! Uh, oh, and root huh? beer! Yeah, root beer! Well, what are you waiting <gasps> for? Huh? Case supply? Huh? Good call on the root beer, dude! You rock! Huh? Are you kidding? You led me right to it with the ice thing! You rock! Huh? Oh, please forgive me, you poor, poor, sweet, precious little dear, dear, dear child. Would you like your picture with Lucky the Lake Monster? It's only five dollars. Is there really a lake monster? Oh, no. I also have the Tijuana Tornado, Bigfoot, and Astronaut Bob. That Astronaut Bob really boils my tea kettle. First, I need some worms. Five dollars, please. Oh, you're such a precious, dear, angelic. Nanette! Yow! Nanette! 
You sweet, gorgeous thing. Would you like your picture with... For the millionth time, just the sushi. Your spicy tuna was flown in fresh from Japan this morning. You know, I usually start my day with... Charge it to my account. Well, well, look what washed ashore. Going fishing, I see, Angela Anaconda. I'd invite you to join me, but we don't allow riffraff aboard my yacht, which is French for expensive boat. You mean French for yuck, then that now wart. But who cares? In a few short minutes, I'm gonna be knee deep and fish up to my knees. Row, row, row. I know, I know, the best fishing's in the center of the lake. But this lake must be growing. On account of I keep rowing and we keep getting nowhere. <laughs> Very funny. How come I have to do all the rowing? So Derek and I can do all the fishing? Okay, Angela, time to break out the worms. <sighs> They're gone! Gone? Y you lost them? Way to go, Angela. It's not my fault. I'm not the one who uses the boat for a garbage can. Well, I'm done. No worms, no fish. No kidding. Pass me a root beer, Angela. Fishing's over. Over? After all this rowing and bait buying and being scared by the crazy bait shanty grandma, fishing's over? Yeah. Well, not me. I'm finally gonna get the... No! You gotta rest your arms. We need you to row back later. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nice boat, Angela Angler Conda. Hasn't your family ever heard of an invention called a motor? <laughs> Shutting your motor mouth, especially on account of fishing is over for some people I know. And you, my bumbling brothers, may be bosses of the boat. But down here, I say what floats, and that is definitely not you. Oh no! Lucky the lake monster is on the loose! Look out! I will warn you. Never fear, my sunken siblings. Your sister will save you. Because just like Dad promised, I am the first to use the world of real. Oh no! My brainless brothers seem to be snarled up in some seaweed. Minnie Pooh will love this tasty sushi roll on account of it is flown in fresh. May I offer you some fast food that you will truly love, little Nin? I will ask you. No, no! She will tell me. Oh, but we, we, because this boat has one of your precious little motairs, which is French for, watch out for that tree. Look, I will say to my fine fishy friend, pigs really can fly after all. Sorry, Mark and Derek. It looks like you won't be catching any fish on account of a fish has caught you. I'm sick of you two being bosses of the boat. You're gonna listen to me for a change. I came here to fish, not to row or open root beers or row. <gasps> the bait! Check out that fish! Whoa! I must have caught it while I was sleeping! Uh, no way, man! I caught it while I was sleeping! I caught it while you were both sleeping! Whoa! Righteous yell! Yeah, you rock, Angela! Ooh. Ow! Five dollars, please. Hey, don't worry. We got this one covered. Uh, Angela, can we borrow five dollars? Uh, maybe, uh... What I don't get is how you caught a fish without any bait. What I don't get is how she caught a fish at all. It wasn't so hard on account of I found the bait. <laughs> you silly, silly, naive darling. Young, dear, sweet. <laughs>
What, what is, is it? it? You caught a fish using sushi. Huh? If that's sushi, then where are our worms? Please pass the wasabi, Alfredo. Ah! Oh. Oh. It is the day of the big kickoff. And we are choosing this year's captains for our annual school relay race. And Coach Reinhardt has picked me to be captain of Team Lemon on account of I almost knocked Johnny Abadi's head off with a soccer ball. Then Mrs. Brinks picks Miss Do-Nothing Teacher's pet herself, Ninny Wart Manoir, to be captain of the Limes. But nothing can ruin my day. On account of the best part about winning the relay race is the top secret prize. <gasps> Five minute break, then we pick teams! Quick, Johnny Abadi, climb up and see. Me? What about you? I'm dizzy. I can't. I'm the captain. Oh, yeah. Ooh, very nice. <laughs> Psst, well? Uh, uh, <gasps> oh. Oh. Mr. Abati, you are to conduct yourself in a sports person like manner. <gasps> like Nana. Um, B. M. B. M. B? What are you talking about, Johnny Abadi? All I could see was M. B. <laughs> As in Melon Ball? As in Marcel's Boutique, which must be this year's top secret prize. I seriously doubt it. All the other secret prize winners got victory meals. Yeah, last year's winners got all you can eat at the Budgie Burger. So M. B. must stand for some purveyor of fine foods. All right, time to choose up sides. Don't look at me, Angela Anaconda. I wouldn't think of it, Gina Lash. Too bad for Ninny Poo. Lemons get first pick and limes do not. And that means I pick Johnny a body. Huh? No fair! I was gonna pick Johnny a body! Okay then. I get two picks. And even though Gordy Reinhardt might not be so fast, I pick him because his dad picked me for captain. Final cut! Captains! Choose your last legs! That Mapperson's Bakery sure makes a darn good... M Mapperson's B B Bakery! That's it! M-B! Mapperson's Bakery! It's so simple, yet so brilliant! Angela! Angela! Pick me! Pick me! Angela. Gina Lash wants to run? Pick me! Pick me! Don't pick her, pick Jimmy! He's got aerobosols! They eat the road and spit out the competition! Pick me, Angela Anaconda! I'm your man! Well, Gina Lash is my best friend. But she's the slowest in the whole school. <laughs> Gina Lash is a goddess, but perhaps not a running goddess. Hurry up, Angela Anaconda. Some of us have better things to do than sit around and wait for you to betray your best friend. That does it. Gina Lash. Oh. Ah! Uh, bakery! Oh! And don't forget to bring the lemon aid, since you'll need all the aid you can get. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, lemons. I might have to think of a top secret plan, but I secretly know I will think of one. How am I doing, Captain? So far, so good, Gina Lash. Now we're going to try some actual running. On an empty stomach? Just think about how unempty your stomach will be when we win all you can eat at Mapperson's. Now you run around the block, and I'll wait here and time you. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, 238 Mississippi, 239 Mississippi, 719 Mississippi. <laughs> Only 1,203 Mississippi. And you're not even sweaty. Oh, Gina, you left your doggy bag in the back seat. Au revoir, Angela Anaconda. We'll save you a place at the finish line. <laughs> secret plans call for secret weapons. Move over, Cordy. You're blocking the secret weapon. No, Gina Lash. Gordy is the secret weapon. <gasps> Until we race, he will never leave your side. Never leave my side? 
not while you're in training. Never, ever, never, ever, ever. One, two, three. Snap person's bakery. Lemon cream pie. Pink frosted donut. Loaves of rye. Snap person's bakery. You make my heart go anaerobic. <laughs> It's showtime! So finally, the day of the big race arrives at last. Excuse me, please. But do any of us really believe that Gina Lash could be that buff after only a few days of training? She should be tested for steroids! Yeah, just like you should be tested for hemorrhoids, Minette. Besides, Gina Lash is way too smart to be that stupid. <laughs> run out in the middle of the highest scoring game. Because Johnny was right. Those Robosos really do eat up the road. Luckily, when it is Johnny Abadi's turn, Team Lemon gets way, way in the lead. But poor little Nin doesn't notice, on account of he has nothing to wear. Go Lemons! Go Lemons! Go Lemons! Go Lemons! Go Lemons! Go lemons. <laughs> Bakery! Napperson's Bakery! It is Gina Lash's turn to tear up the track. Too bad for Ninky Wink, she has to just run in the most unsuitable outfit. But too bad for us, she also tries the most unsuitable dirty trick. The best thing about winning is that Team Lemon beat Lime, and we're getting the top secret prize. And the second best thing is that we never have to do that again, especially Gina Lang. And the winners are... Mrs. Brinks! Mrs. Brinks! I had decided on my outfit. I had to run with the sun in my eyes. Gina Lash took up two lanes. My beauty queen mother never encouraged me to take an interest in athletics. Oh, you poor dear. You are so right. <gasps> do over! Do what? No! carried us to victory. It truly was a team effort. Team effort? We'll show you team effort, ninny not so fast, Manoir. Captain of the losers and green queen of mean. <laughs> Have no fear, baloney head. We superior lemons will be delighted to carry you to victory. Help me, help me! Oh, great Captain Angela, better captain than I, whom I wish I could do over my entire relationship with. Oh, you will tell me. triple cream pie. You do need to bulk up. And as you know, Gina likes to use extra sugar in her pies. Oh my goodness. Looks like Thin Nin has turned into giant Nin come poop. And we hope even more that Marcel's boutique carry something bigger than petite. Oh, thank you, Nini Poo. I believe this belongs to us. And now, the awarding of the grand prize. I'll give you a hint. The initials are MB. I just know it's Marcel's boutique. <laughs> I won't keep you in suspense any longer. This year's grand prize is a home cooked liver loaf and boiled potato supper at the home of our own Mrs. Drinks. And she's throwing in an all-you-can-watch slideshow of her recent road trip with Mr. Brinks to the late Winnewonka Ice Fishing Jubilee! <laughs> slideshow? I've been robbed! And for all the hard work 
working runners-up, all you can eat desserts at Mapperson's Bakery! Loading to do. First one there's a rotten egg. 